at this firing range near Denver. You know, you just load the mag in the bottom there and then rack the slide to chamber around. Kai Klepfer loads a 9mm pistol and pulls the trigger. <laughs> then it's my turn. And I'm going to pick it up. I pull the trigger. Nothing happens. Same gun, yep. same condition. That's all there is to it. The gun doesn't work for me because I'm not an authorized user. This is a smart gun, a mashup of pistol and programming, designed to keep it from firing in the wrong hands. That's really sort of the key part here is, as soon as I put this down, it's gonna lock, right? The weapon is marketed as the world's first ever biometric smart gun. It uses built-in fingerprint and facial recognition sensors, just like on your phone. The white light means it's trying to authenticate, it's trying to recognize me, and then the green light means it's unlocked and ready to go. In 2012, Klepfer was a high school sophomore with a talent for engineering. When a gunman opened fire in an Aurora, Colorado movie theater, They're saying somebody's shooting in the auditorium. It inspired him to build a smart gun for a science fair project. This is the, the final science fair prototype, not an actual gun, because I was 16 and it was illegal for me to own a gun at the time. He founded BioFire in 2016. This is where we do all of our engineering, prototyping, testing. Now with about 40 employees, the company is focused on guns for home defense. Marketing videos show pistols perched on shelves in living rooms and kitchens. For home defense in particular, you need to have fast access to that firearm, and that leads to a lot of people leaving their firearms, in many cases, totally unsecured. Klepfer says his smart gun will help prevent some of the tens of thousands of gun suicides and accidental shootings every year. My mission is firearms are now one of the leading cause of death for children and teenagers in America, and that's not something that any gun owner I've ever talked to wants, right? Nobody wants their kid to find their gun. BioFire says gun owners strongly support the idea of buying a smart gun, but there are skeptics. Electronics break down. Try to get a smartphone that's over 10 years old or a tablet that's over 10 years old and see how fast it works. A few years ago, a hacker demonstrated for Wired how a German company's smart gun could be outsmarted by cheap magnets. It does fire. The National Rifle Association isn't against smart guns, but calls it unproven technology, saying gun owners will continue to have legitimate concerns about firearms that collect data, can be GPS tracked or deactivated remotely, or that by legislative mandate will phase out access to traditional mechanical firearms. Is the gun vulnerable to hacking? The gun is a completely closed local hardened system, right? So there's no Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, any sort of other kind of radio communications of any kind. It's impossible to remotely compromise the gun in any way, right? There's no kill switch the government has or anything like that. The gun went through multiple designs. Now, I would say it's been hundreds of versions, thousands of iterations. Many look right out of a sci-fi movie. We knew pretty early on this was going to be so drastically different than anything that was out there. It really was, like we, we talk about it kind of being the firearm from 50 to 100 years from now. Mm -hmm. What does the future look like? As fast as I can possibly pick this up and have it on the shot, it's, it's unlocked, right? If Klepfer can convince buyers that his gun is as reliable and quick as traditional handguns... You'll see it unlocks for you? Yep. <laughs> All right, and I do have the green light. He believes the future will ultimately look a lot safer. BioFire has the opportunity to have a substantive impact on what I consider to be one of the most sort of substantive public health problems of my generation. And I don't really see a world where no matter who's elected that guns are not going to continue to be a part of American culture. If we can save one kid's life, I, like I would consider that to be a net positive. Clayton Sandell, Scripps News, Broomfield, Colorado.